Basically, Apollo is a cross-operating system runtime that allows you to install desktop applications that were built using web technologies like HTML, JavaScript, XML, and of course Flash. Um, and now, these applications can be um, built by any web developer, leveraging the existing uh, tools and skills uh, that they already know. Um, in fact, in a lot of cases, even leveraging existing code that they're using on their websites. So it's a very uh, fast and efficient and approachable way to build powerful desktop applications that reach um, multiple operating systems. So you, ha you, know, you have a consistent experience between Mac and Windows. And in the future, we'll support um, other operating systems like Linux as well. Apollo does not aim to replace the browser. In fact, um, the browser is really good for doing certain things that we don't need a desktop app for, like browsing content. So um, there's a lot of content that just doesn't need to be a desktop app. But what we've been seeing is that people have been using the reach of the web to deliver highly functional applications um, because they don't want to rely on the operating system. The browsers become a tool to extend an application out to you know, pretty much anybody, regardless of their system. And there's been a big growth in that. But what's happening is the more complex the applications get, the more limitations they reach being inside of that browser model. So we see that there's a need for leveraging those same technologies, being able to distribute to any platform like that, um, but have the added benefit of desktop functionality, like local data storage uh, and data management and system notifications and a lot of things like that, processing power. And there's, there's a lot of advantages to having this stuff built in a desktop application. So um, early on, I think people are just going to have to think about what are they trying to accomplish, what kind of functionality they want to deliver. And I think some of our early launch partners, like eBay, will help set an example of what makes sense to be uh, working as a desktop app versus running in the browser. We are uh, planning to release a developer version, it's an early beta version, on our website, labs.adobe.com, within the next couple of months. And then later this year, we are planning to release the 1.0 release uh, for Apollo. Today, um, we showed um, some of the things that we've been working on for Apollo by demonstrating an eBay application. So we've been working very closely with eBay um, and a few other partners as well. And in the eBay application, uh, we demonstrated running um, uh, eBay's services in an offline application in Apollo, the ability to browse for content, to bid for content, uh, in the process of bidding, we showed system notification tie-in for Apollo, which is one of the APIs for the runtime. Um, and so when I actually place a bid and somebody outbids me, it'll give me a notification of that, which is a very useful thing to have in a desktop app. Um, we also talked about how to sell an item. So I was actually able to go uh, take my machine offline. I disconnected my network cable. And then I went through and actually created a new auction, uh, posted that, and then it gave me a notification that I was offline, so it hadn't actually posted the eBay servers yet. Then I plugged back in and automatically synced it up. So we have automatic sync for data online and offline. Um, actually, one other cool thing that we showed in that process was we have a watch list of multiple auctions that I'm watching. And I was able to take that watch list and drag an icon out of the desktop application onto my, my uh, systems desktop. And that drag and drop process uh, created an Excel spreadsheet from that data. So we showed using Apollo to actually write out a file. In this case, it was a spreadsheet file. Uh, so, so that was pretty cool. Max, which was back in I think, September of last year, we showed um, a, several Apollo apps. We showed the eBay app. I think it was the first time we'd shown that. And at that point, we were only showing the cell functionality. So today, we actually add a lot of other stuff. So we browsing content, um, saving items to a watch list, being able to export them out to the desktop, all the things that I just mentioned. Um, so it's making a lot more progress now. Um, doing really cool stuff. We showed the install process, which is very easy and seamless installation. Um, so it's making good progress. Uh, they seem to be very happy with it.